What's going on guys? Back again with another video. I was actually in the process of making a different video um, where I am lifting the Bronco, which you'll probably see this video first, but I've already got the back lifted, um, working on the front. But then I just got another delivery in the mail and I'm running out of room here in my garage. I started to get parts piling up here. So I'm going to take a break from working on this and getting that lift installed to get into these boxes, which are super taped up. Kind of a odd sized box. <laughs> You can get into this thing. They must have had a ton of fun packing this thing. Looks like it's a refrigerator box that was wrapped around it. And then a separate box wrapped around that on the outside. And then this thing is bubble wrapped and shrink wrapped all over the place. Whew, I'm, our, I'm out of breath just unpacking this thing and it's still got a lot more to go but Not sure if you could tell what it is yet or not, but this is going to be the front bumper for the geo tracker That box over there is the rear bumper. So these have finally come in So we're going to go ahead and get those installed in this video All right, so here's the stock bumper and it's hold it in the bolt here and a bolt here on both sides. So it's got four bolts holding it on. So if you come over, you got the bolt here and the bolt here, which this new bumper includes. It's also got this added here, which is gonna go in to this front bar. So this should fit into there. And that's going to give it even extra support, extra strength that the original bumper didn't even have. So, I'm going to get the uh, screws out of here. I said they just had them taped into place. Double check they fit. Which they do. Perfect. And let me pull one of these off. And that should... fit right in there so I think the easiest way to get this mounted up is going to be remove these screws leave this on slide it in and slide it in over there that way I can put those bottoms in get them connected and then hook up the top screw And well, of course, nothing's that easy. I have these two, I guess they're toe points. Uh, I don't know exactly what they are. My assumption would be that they're toe points, but the inside bar on both sides happens to be right where that bar wants to go in order to get this high enough to line up those mounting bolts. So, I'm going to have to chop those off 
in order to get this to work. Now let me get out, break out the uh, a grinding disc and or the sawzall or something and chop those off and then go from there. Got those chopped off. Get this set up and see how it fits. So there we go, it's on. Need to tighten down those bolts. Uh, but it fits, they fit perfectly. So apparently those guys over at Trail Tough know exactly what they're doing when they're fabbing this stuff up because they, everything fits perfectly. Um, no complaints all around. Like I said, it gets rid of that extra bumper area here. So when you're putting some bigger tires, you don't have to worry about the bumper here. Now, on the back side might be a different issue, but the back side's a little bit close when it comes to wheels. We'll see how that goes once. If we ever get the suspension parts in and get this lifted, then that will change that a bit as well. But we have space for a winch up here now. Uh, so if this little thing ever gets stuck, it should be easy to get pull it right out. I mean, you could hook to pretty much anything to pull this thing out, I think. So, don't need a super powerful winch, but something strong enough to get it unstuck. Now, we have the rear bumper left to do, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that box open now. All right, so this time I didn't try cutting the box open. I just got the end open. I was able to pull the bumper out, um, and it's, mummified like the other one is they're definitely gotta give props to their shipping department they made use of what they had made some boxes around it i'm guessing they probably just went and grabbed some cardboard that they could get and wrap these things really well Instead of going out and buying new new cardboard boxes to ship these things in, they just got some cardboard and made it work. So I do like that. Here we have the rear bumper. It's got an integrated hitch. Um, the only stock bolt locations are these right here for the rear bumper. Which if we come around back, just this here and this here. So again, they've strengthened it and I'm going to, ha in order to do it, there should be a bar going across here and then these bolt in. It's just the one bolt there, one bolt there that are still in. Um, I'm gonna have to remove those. And I think cut this here because we go back to this. On the bottom, we have these flat bars here, some hardware and some mounting bolts, which line up to these holes under here. However, to get that flat flush up against there, may even have to remove this tow hook here definitely need to pull these down and then cut those along the there so those can get up so gonna have to get that removed off of there and then we can get the new bumper on took a little cutting and pounding get these pieces off they of course both of these each had a, they had two nuts going through them, or two bolts going through them, and of course, each one had one that was just rounded off and would not come out. Um, then it did have these little flaps that came down, and that's where the old bumper cover screwed in. Uh, just cut those off. Probably could have bent them down or out of the way, but I just cut them off. Same with this. Just cut it off, got it out of the way. It's, it's 
Yeah, the left hand side could have maybe bent out of the way of this right hand side. Definitely couldn't have, but so yeah, there's two bolts underneath, which is where those two bolts went. And then one bolt up top here on each side. And I mean, this thing is sturdy. It's not going anywhere. So, uh, they're definitely well built. I said it's from Trail Tough. Not a sponsored video. They didn't send it to me or anything. I've actually purchased it. Um, but from looking around at the bumpers I could find, these are the ones I like the best. And they also were the cheapest. They were like $3.99 each. They are a lot of the bumpers I was looking at. Like $1,000, $1,500. Um, and a lot of them were just butt ugly. So I just wanted something that was sturdy that also had a winch plate on it. So I can get a winch on there in case they ever get stuck. Said so whenever I uh, get around to having some space in the garage again, I'll probably take these off and spray them with the Rhino liner so it matches everything and all that. Uh, but for now, I mean, the powder coat doesn't look bad. I like it. What do you guys think? Do you like this? Do you think some of the other ones that I was saying are expensive and or ugly uh, are more your style? You know, I know ugly and beauty are in the eye of the beholder, so maybe you don't like these and you like the other kind better, which is fine. But these are the ones I liked. They were a great deal and managed to get them fabricated and shipped to me and installed and i even ordered these like a month after i ordered the suspension and they're already installed and guess what still no suspension parts heck i purchased this got everything registered then ordered a lift kit for the bronco and that's already halfway installed and still no sign of these, so. Yeah, that's been fun. But once I get this lifted, then we'll figure out exactly how much room we have for some wheels and tires. Got wheels and tires on the way for the Bronco and they may actually even get here before I manage to get that finished. But hopefully uh, get that wrapped up. I'm going to go ahead and get this video uploaded and then I'm going to get back to work on the Bronco and getting that lift kit installed and getting the new wheels and tires put on there. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.